Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman. And today is the weekend, it's May 16th and 17th, 2015. And my topic, or topics for today, are you a snitcher or a shaver? What I mean by this, are you honest enough with yourself that when you snitch, when you cheat, when you don't be honest with your own program, your own tracker, your own integrity, do you call yourself out? Do you tell on yourself? Or are you a shaver? Meaning that you've put your measuring cups and spoons and little scale to the side and you've guesstimated what that particular item is. So snitching and shaving is the topic and I have to tell you that it's a hard thing to give up it's like this habit that we do without even thinking about it right it's like you eyeball something you're busy you're talking to somebody it gets confusing and so you just kind of say <clears throat> close enough and guess what it's those close enoughs um, <clears throat> that can get us into trouble keep us from losing weight staying on the plateau, even gaining. So I don't want to be a snitcher because even if I snitch and then I tell on myself, well, what good is it? I've done the damage to my body by eating something that I wasn't honest about. Or a shaver, you know. And I will tell you the two places where I can get into trouble so easily. One is with coffee creamer or my um, sugar alternative in my coffee, my Xyla. And I use the Coffee Mate Bliss and I use the Xyla and I still, say hi Frankie, I still use my um, measuring spoon for both. The other place that I can get into terrific trouble is with salad dressings and olive oil. You know, I can just pour I can just pour like I don't even know what I know. And once you know better, you do better. You don't want to get yourself into trouble with these things. Those are, those are two of my dangerous areas. What are your, your two, what are your dangerous areas with snitching? <laughs> Boy, is it hard for me to say that. Snitching and shaving with your Weight Watchers program. I have 26 points and I could easily Put two tablespoons of olive oil, just keep pouring away, or two tablespoons of the Coffee Bliss, which is two points, two, two tablespoons of olive oil is six points. So we're talking, you could easily add, <laughs> you know, a third of your points just by, by not being honest with yourself and using your implements. You know, a couple of videos back, I was talking about going to a wedding, and a few people were commenting, you know, maybe I should bring my own salad dressing. Yeah, maybe you should. You know, a tablespoon or two doesn't look much different. And if you're used to, say, putting your tablespoon or your half a tablespoon or your teaspoon of something in some sort of little container to then pour on, like if there's another step and it's just not poured directly on the salad or put directly in the coffee, it might look like regular to you, you know, but if even if you ask for the salad dressing on the side, I'm telling you those little hotel cups, you know, like that you'd get soup in if they put the salad dressing in that, that could be four or five ounces. And if you're talking to people, you've had a couple of cocktails, you could get really messy, right? Um, so snitching and shaving are two things that like the person over there doesn't know, the person over there doesn't know, your co-workers don't know, your significant other doesn't know, your kids aren't paying any attention either. They already think you're wacky with all the measuring and stuff. But are you slowly getting sloppy with that? Because you really, this is the place, this is the slip and slide. And suddenly, you know, there, if you're on maintenance, suddenly you've put on that extra pound. And it's like, oh, and I already know from being on maintenance, that it would it, it's so hard to tighten it back up again and to go um, to go back to how it was. One example from me, 
just in the um, just an aside, I digress, is eggs. Now I used to do the three tablespoons of egg whites measured, put in a bowl, the one egg, two points, put in the bowl. And so I'd have a two point um, omelet or a scrambled egg or something like that because there was only one egg and the egg whites had nothing. So since I've been on maintenance, I love my eggs. I love my organic eggs or my Nellie's eggs that are um, close to organic. Um, just a dollar or two cheaper per dozen. So anyway, now I've moved on to liking my two whole eggs for breakfast. And so the thought of going back to the egg white thing, it just feels like, well, now that I'm on maintenance, I can have it. And I count them. There's four points in the two eggs. But I have to be very, very careful. That's one of the areas. And I don't want to go back to the egg whites. You know, I don't want to go back to the fat-free Land O'Lakes um, half and half in my coffee. You know, I've switched over. I've gotten used to dark coffee. I have. You've, you've heard me. And I've switched over to the two whole eggs, and I feel, I feel great. I love, I love having it like that. So anyway, um, because I, because I be, I'm very careful about the snitching and the shaving. I'm able to do what I'm able to do, but I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to slip and slide and get sloppy, and just guesstimate things. So. For this weekend, May 16th and 17th, the topic is snitching and shaving. And are you absolutely honest with yourself? As you scroll through your tracker, I have a tablet and I kind of scroll through that. It's the easiest way for me to um, put things in, take things out, change the measurements. Are you absolutely honest with yourself? Tell me. Are you taking that bite that, doesn't, that you don't count? You know, I love one person on my um, YouTube channel. She says, count a point for each bite that you take. She said, that'll cure you of that. And I have that absolutely positively. No licking spoons, no taking a bite, no trying it out. I just don't. It's just, it's, it's my dangerous area. It's like my gateway. It's like marijuana before the crack. Um, and I have to be careful. I know that that's me. So... My measuring spoons, cups, and little scale are available all the time. I have all my little glass containers that I put my pre-measured creamer in before I go to work, salad dressing before I go to work. I even measure out my two tablespoons of salsa that I have with my diced peppers, and there's zero points in it. It's just that part that I don't want to get into that shaving, whereas, you know, it doesn't really count. It's just salsa. doesn't really count. Well, it does. So, anyway, are you snitching? Are you shaving? Let me know what you do with your program and how you get honest and keep honest with yourself and maintain that, that self-integrity. It's just so, so good and clean feeling to know that you've done what you have to do for your own program, your own self-care, your own Weight Watchers. You know, you're not adding five more points into your Weight Watcher points each day because you're snitching and shaving. So let me know. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and Sunday. This has been Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman. I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.